One of the strengths of GNS3 is the large number of vendors that GNS3 supports and the many options for integration between various vendors in your GNS3 topology. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download, configure, and integrate an HPE VSR with a Cisco CSR. Both the HPE VSR1000 or Virtual Services Router and the Cisco Cloud Services Router are examples of NFV or Network Function Virtualization Routers. In a separate video which I've linked below, I'll show you how to import and configure a CSR1000V. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do something similar for an HPE VSR1000. One of the advantages of the HPE VSR is that it supports OpenFlow 1.3. So if you want a additional device in your GNS3 topology that supports OpenFlow, the VSR is a good choice. The VSR supports OSPF, BGP, and various routing protocols in the same way that a physical router does, or that a Cisco CSR does. It also supports VXLANs in the same way that a CSR does, but the advantage of the HPE VSR is that it supports OpenFlow 1.3, whereas the Cisco CSR does not. Various vendors support OpenFlow. I've shown you in previous videos, which I'll link below, how to integrate a OpenV switch switch with a SDN controller. But for now, I'll discuss the HPE VSR and show you an example of running it within GNS3, as well as showing you an example of how GNS3 can download software from vendor sites and make it very easy to import devices into GNS3. So the first thing we need to do is go to gns3.com and click Marketplace, click Appliances, and search for the HP VSR. Download the template to your local machine, and that will make it easy to integrate the VSR with the GNS3 VM and your GNS3 topologies. In this example, I'm using the GNS3 VM, which is recommended in a Windows environment, and I'm using GNS3 2.0. The current release of GNS3 is 1.5.3, but in all my demonstrations, I'm using GNS3 2.0 because the release date is soon. So what I'll do is go to File, Import Appliance, select the HP VSR 1001 Appliance. That was the appliance that we downloaded from the GNS3 website. Click Open. We're given a bit of a sales pitch about the VSR. What's important to note here is it's gonna be added to the router category. It's a VSR 1001. You can see on the HPE website, the various models available. They have a VSR 1008, 1004, and 1001. The 1001 is the smallest device. That's good enough for our GNS3 topologies we actually want a smaller device that takes fewer CPU resources than a more powerful device. It's maintained by the GNS3 team and it requires KVM. In other words, if you're using the GNS3 VM, which is recommended, you need to be using VMware. So as an example, VMware Workstation, don't try and use VirtualBox. This device runs the HPE Comware version 7 operating system, which is very different to Cisco IOS, but I'll demonstrate some commands when we get started, and I'll show you how to run OSPF between a Cisco and an HPE. Click Next. We once again are going to run this on the GNS3 VM, so I'm going to click Next. We told that the GNS3 server requirements are okay, so we can click Next. Now, I previously downloaded the software from the HPE website, 
So Genius 3 is clever enough to have found the files, but if your files are not found, click on this empty 8G QCOW2 file and click download. What that does is it takes you to Source Forge and automatically downloads the file for you. So notice here we asked whether we want to download the file. I'm going to click Save. And as you can see now, that file has been downloaded to my local PC. The same is true for the VSR operating system. This is an ISO file. So if it's not shown as found, click on the file name and click Download. You told that GNS3 will redirect you to where the file can be downloaded, which is great. So click OK. Now we've given a certificate warning. This is because we are taken to the hp.com website rather than the HPE website. So we want to download the HPE VSR 1001, but we are taken to the hp.com website. HP has split into two separate companies and some files are still only available on the old site. HPE, unlike Cisco, allows you to download a lot of files directly from their website, even without registration. So click Download, accept the license terms and click Download. That's going to download a zip file to your local PC. Now it's quite a large file. It's 500 meg in size, and it's a zip file. So what you'll need to do is extract that zip file. In this case, I've already extracted it. So the files will be extracted just like any other zip file. And inside of the zip file, you'll find the ISO file required by GNS3. So if it doesn't find it, click Import, browse to where the file is stored on your local hard drive, and click Open. So in this example, because I clicked on Import, the file is going to be uploaded by GNS3 to the GNS3 VM. If the file had already been found, when you click Next, the file is uploaded to the GNS3 VM. Now this file is 240 meg in size. It may take a while to upload depending on how fast your computer is. But just wait for the file to upload and then you can click Next. So we can see that this version of the VSR is ready to install. The QCOW2 file has been found and so has the ISO image, so we can click Next. We asked, would we like to install this version? That's what we want to do, so I'm going to click Yes. QMU settings are displayed. I'm going to stay with the defaults and click Next. This is a summary of the appliance. It's an x86 64-bit appliance. Amount of RAM is 1 gig. Adapters E1000, 16 adapters will be added. Notice this please, the console type is VNC. So this is different to a Cisco viral image as an example. We have to use VNC here rather than PuTTY or a console connection to the device. KVM is required. Again, we need to use VMware rather than a virtual box. So I'm going to click Next. We told that the appliance will be added to the router category. We can click Finish. We told that the appliance is now installed, so I can click OK. So now in Genius 3, I can browse routers. Here's my VSR. I can drag that across. And as an example, I could bring a Cisco IOS V router into the topology. If I had a Cisco CSR, I could add that to the topology rather than an iOS V router. But in this example, I'm going to connect my VSR to the iOS V router. As in all Genius 3 topologies, you can make the topology look pretty. 
you can display the interfaces. But what I'll do here is boot up the devices and open up a console to both of them. So what you'll notice now is that the VSR is shown in a VNC connection. Tight VNC viewer is being used in my Windows implementation and PuTTY is being used to connect to the viral router. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.